Avilio. Welcome, wizards, witches, and nomads. My name's David Sicello, and thank you for taking the time out of your day to visit my channel, Wands and Reviews. Did you know that the McFarlane Toys Movie Maniacs line has returned to celebrate 100 years of Warner Brother movies? There are four six-inch pre-posed statuesque figurines and for this, each one comes with an environmental display base, a scenic backdrop, and an art card, where the backside is also the numbered certificate of authenticity that also comes with a display stand. For each of these four figurines, they are limited to 10,000 pieces. And today, I would like to share with you one of those four figurine statues, Harry Potter from the Goblet of Fire. Starting with the box design, it's a nice blue colored window box with silver highlights and it's covered with faded text that list various movie titles. For items like this, I really do appreciate a window box design just for those who do not open their toys but still want to display them. Now, on the back of the box, it shows a nice image of Harry Potter from the Goblet of Fire and what's included. The only issue is, I wish the image on the back of the box matched the Harry Potter figure that's inside. I removed Harry Potter and all the contents from the box. You'll want to remember to save the cardboard insert which is inside the box because it is the display background for the Harry Potter figure and it stands up when you plug it in to this plastic curved piece that is included. Inside you also get the card which is also the Certificate of Authenticity. There is a silver color display stand included, which will hold the card. Now, I'm not sure if it's just my card or if they're all this way, but on the back of the card, mine is not numbered. It's just left blank. Now, I would have liked it to have number whatever out of 10,000 either printed or written in, but it's blank. And as I said, I'm not sure if all the Certificate of Authenticity cards are this way. Now, for Harry Potter himself, he is standing on a rock or stone styled type base wearing his school uniform holding out his wand. The sculpt is nice and Harry Potter has that look kind of an angry look on his face when he's casting his spell. Too bad, or should I say unfortunately, there's not a spell effect on the tip of the wand because I think that would have made it a little bit more dynamic. And no, Harry Potter is not removable from the base. Speaking of which, I kind of wish that the backdrop was attached to the figurine base instead of the separate plastic piece that's included because again it would have made it more of a solid type of piece of a display makes it more dynamic and just having everything separate kind of cheapens the look and feel for what this item is supposed to be but that's just my opinion oh by the way inside the box there is also a mystery box you want to know what's inside, or should I leave it a mystery? Nah, I'll tell you. When you open it up, it's nothing spectacular, but it's a sticker, a decal, of the Gryffindor shield.
So what do you think of the return of the Movie Maniacs line to help celebrate 100 years of Warner Brother movies? Personally, I think it's a fantastic idea, though out of the four characters chosen for Series 1, I would have chosen somebody else other than Ted Lasso, because I think there are other characters out there that are more iconic from the library of 100 years of films from Warner Brothers. But that's just my opinion. I'm really glad that they chose Harry Potter to be in Series 1. And though it's a nice figurine and display type piece, I would have rather had Harry Potter in his Goblet of Fire Triwizard robe other than the standard overdone Harry Potter in school robes. But I get it. It's iconic, so it's going to sell. The figure to me, though, it's really nice. And as for a display piece, I think it'll look nice in anybody's ever-growing Wizarding World collection. I hope you enjoyed this video review today. If you did, please click on that thumbs up button. And while you're here, subscribe to my channel if you're not already doing so. I really do appreciate it. And remember to share this video with your family and all of your friends. Until next time, have an awesome day.